Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about systems of two equations, and we'll solve each system by elimination. So, if I was given this system here, 6x minus 12y equals 24, and negative x minus 6y equals a positive 4. Well, what I want to do with elimination, I'm going to see, can I multiply one of these equations, or both of them, to get them up like one of the variables opposite of the other one. So, the way I'm looking at this and thinking about it, I'm looking at the negative 12 and the negative 6. I know if I multiply 6 by 2, I can get 12. And if I multiply the negative 6 by negative 2, I'm going to get that positive 12. That's going to be opposite of the negative 12 above it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the first equation. 6x minus 12y equals 24. But the second equation, I'm going to multiply by negative 2, and that's the whole equation. So I'm doing so, negative 2 times negative x is a positive 2x. Negative 2 times a negative 6y is a positive 6y. And negative 2 times 4 is a negative 8. From there, I'm going to add these two equations. I'm going to add it down. So let's bring them down here. Oh. <laughs> negative 2 times uh, negative 6y is a positive 12y. That was the whole point. Double check that. It should eliminate. All right. I did that on purpose to make it a learning opportunity. All right. <laughs> so to add these two straight down, 6x plus 2x is a 8x. Negative 12y plus a positive 12y y is a 0, which it should. If it doesn't, you messed up, and I almost did. Okay. 24 and a negative 8 come out to be a positive 6 from here, we don't really care about the zero. We can just eliminate that, <laughs> pun intended. And I'm going to divide by 8 to both sides to get x by itself. That gives me x equals 16 divided by 8, which is 2. So now that we have our x value, we need to plug that back into one of our equations to get our y value. I find the second equation looking uh, a little bit easier, so or nicer. So I'm going to take that negative x minus 6y equals 4, and I'm going to plug that x equals 2 or 2 in for x. So we have negative 2 minus 6y equals 4. Okay. Well, negative 2, really there, okay, we can add a 2 to both sides. This gives me negative 6y by itself equals a positive 6. Okay. Divide by negative 6 to both sides, and we have y equals 6 divided by negative 6 is a negative 1. So we have our x value and our y value. They can come together to be a coordinate point, which is negative 1, comma, 2. And there we have it, our final answer. So let's recap. We're given <coughs> 6x minus 12y equals 24, and negative x minus 6y equals 4. And we have to solve this by elimination. By multiplying the second equation by negative 2, I come up with 2x plus 12y, positive 12y, equals a negative 8. I add that to the first equation to eliminate the y variable, leaving me with 8x equals 16. I divide it by 8 to both sides, giving me x is 2. I plug that x equals 2 into the second equation to solve for y. And in doing so, I simplified it and I got y to be a negative 1. So now with y being negative 1 and x being a positive 2, I can combine that to be a coordinate point with negative 1 being first. And so again, our final answer is just negative 1 comma positive 2. 